This video is on the importance of taking breaks through the workday, not just so that you can be, I don't know, a little bit more positive or happy or lower your stress level, that is a part of it, but also how it makes you more effective with respect to your cognitive performance. So think about this story. I heard this while I was living as a Zen monk. It was, you know, there's two bamboo cutters at the temple and one of them, they start at the same time every single day and they end at the same time every single day. Except one of them kind of disappears and goes off for an hour or two right in the middle of the day. And at the end of the day, that guy ends up cutting more bamboo. So this goes on for weeks and weeks and weeks. And finally, the first guy says, okay, I don't get it. We start at the same time. We end at the same time. Yet every single day you disappear for like an hour or two while I keep working. And yet you cut more bamboo. How is this possible? And the kind of the Zen guy who says, well, while you keep working and cutting bamboo, I go home, rest my muscles and sharpen my blade. And so this speaks to the idea that we tend to think of like more from more, okay? That if I just keep working harder and more hours and more intensely and you know, sending more email and crossing more things off my list that I will be more effective. But what we tend to see is that you can work smarter rather than just harder and that rest is a critical part of performance. And so now this story, of course, is a little bit more in the kind of physical work domain. So I wanted to share some very interesting research from Microsoft Human Factors Lab that looks at this for cognitive performance. So now to do this, I think that's pretty cool that they did this. They had like 14 Microsoft employees volunteer to wear an EEG, which is like a electromagnetic brain kind of monitoring device all day as they went through their work day and they did a bunch of Zoom meetings. And they were looking at the difference between meetings where they had a break in between the meetings or just jumping from Zoom to Zoom to Zoom to Zoom for several hours. And they found two really interesting things in the kind of the neuro imaging of this is that the breaks between meetings reduced stress, but they also helped you to increase focus and engagement. So I'll actually show you a couple of visual visuals from this. So this first image, you're looking at beta wave activity. So this is a kind of a stress signature in the brain. When you have elevated levels of beta waves, we tend to see uh, stress accumulating. And so you see at the top there, the people that did not have breaks, it's getting redder and redder and redder. So the stress is kind of accumulating or building up throughout the day. The second group that had the breaks between the meetings, this stress is getting reset each time. And so it doesn't build up over the course of the day. So bringing it back to me, what we see from that visual is that taking breaks in between our many meetings and Zoom meetings and tasks helps us to prevent stress from accumulating throughout the course of the day. Now, here's the second one I mentioned. Take a look at this image. So what you have here is, again, not another one of these kind of signatures is that frontal alpha wave symmetry is associated with higher levels of focus and attention and ultimately engagement. And of course, what you see here on one hand, the group that had no breaks, so not doing very well in terms of their cognitive performance versus the group that took breaks, which is just almost off the charts when you look at them compared to the non-break group. So bringing it back to me, I think that there is some kind of intuitive wisdom here, right? Of uh, work smarter, not harder. And of course we can see how that pays off, but it's really nice that it's backed by an actual neuroimaging study from Microsoft. So the bottom line is if you want to be not only happier and lower stress, but more effective in your work, then you should take breaks and particularly take breaks between your many meetings and especially Zoom meetings. So that's all for now. Uh, here's a video that YouTube suggests you'll like. As always on this channel, you can find very practical research and tips to be at your best in both work and in life as we study happiness together. So thanks for watching. My name is Jackson Kirchis and I'll see you next time.